Hi guys, so I have a new background and I'm kind of struggling to figure out what way I want to set because I wasn't really thinking that obviously with my mirror being there that you're going to be able to see me from the back if I sit at a certain angle and I don't want that. <laughs> um, I know you can kind of like still see it but that won't really bother me that much. But anywho, let's put some makeup on, right? I want to do a dark lip. It's still August, it's still summer, but I'm just getting that Halloween-y fall, autumn vibe. <laughs> it's starting to creep up and bite me and I love it. Okay, so I already have my brows done and I've just put a wee bit of concealer just on my lids just to carve out my brows. I'm going to use this wee primer that I have not used in such a long time. It probably should have been quite some time ago, but smells okay and I actually used it yesterday for the first time in ages and I don't know I just thought I'd actually just use it up but it's from XX Revolution and it is the Cloud Complexion Primer. This is actually really really nice. I've raved about this quite a few times like a couple years ago whenever it actually first launched. The consistency of it, it kind of feels like a sorbet. Sorbet or sorbet? Sorbet. <laughs> You know what I mean? It kind of has like that sorbet, sorbet type of feel to it. And then whenever you kind of massage it into the skin, it does kind of break down to like a nice like hydrate and moisturising consistency. And it has like a wee bit of a glow to it as well, but it has a pink glow to it, which I also think is quite nice. It's quite different, but it's not like too harsh or too artificial looking or too crazy looking. It's just really, really nice and subtle. And it just makes your skin look really, really nice actually. I think if they still do do this, <laughs> I would actually highly recommend it because it is a wild well, nice wee primer, you know, because it just really nicely like hydrates your skin, makes your skin look really good as well. The smell, let's not get me started on the smell of this. It smells like, it's pure coconut, right? Like pure, pure coconut, but it just smells like I used to get these coconut biscuits and this primer is just that exact smell. I don't exactly know if I'm selling it to you whenever I'm talking about oh it smells like a coconut biscuit but it does smell way nice of coconut. It zoomies in a wee bit. Oh my goodness look how pale I am. I'm so pale. I don't think you will be able to see like the pink shift off it. I'm just going to turn my nose ring around. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, it just is, oh, is <laughs> the nicest wee primer. It really is the nicest wee primer. So I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation in the shade Creme Brulee. But I'm also going to be mixing it with the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation Stick in the shade Tres Leches. So basically this here is too dark for me and this is too light so together they kind of balance each other out so I'm going to take a mixture of these. As you can see I have tan on at the minute, I put some tan on last night and it's, do you know what, it's actually looking so so nice, so so good and guys, you're going to be so proud of me right? <laughs> you're going to feel like proud parents right now but look at my hands. Like I felt tan last night and look at my hands. I haven't got um, them fake tan hands that people slag me for. <laughs> I was so proud and do you know what I done? And it was just sheer coincidence that I just happened to do it by accident actually. So basically I done my tan yesterday during the day, which I never do. I never ever do. Um, well it was like yesterday evening and then obviously a couple of hours later I'd washed my face. So I'd obviously washed my hands. Might look a wee bit funny to start with, but obviously once we conceal and cream bronze and everything, it all comes together, sure, doesn't it? Honestly, it feels like so long since I've actually sat here and filmed, and to be honest, it actually is, because last week I had took the last three days of the week off. Do you know what I just needed to do? I needed to take so many days off to just sort out this house, sort out each room, give it another good deep clean and just sort out shit <laughs> and just sort out my life and this filming room 
this room of mine was driving me insane and I'm happy with it for now like I'm obviously still not happy with my makeup collection like my storage situation because I obviously have the Alex drawers and they're the most disgusting the most hideous looking drawers I think I've ever laid my eyes on but they do the job and they serve their purpose and they've treated me well over the past couple of years but I'm just I'm so done with them they're they're such an eyesore they're an absolute eyesore <laughs> I don't know I just need it to rearrange my entire life so that's literally what I've done all of last week and then over the weekend and stuff and I've also been doing quite a lot of DIY work by the way um like I've been spray painting literally everything <laughs> um Oh, you name it, I'm DIYing it. <laughs> it's so funny. And I have been vlogging, by the way. That's one thing I will say. I have been vlogging. Yeah, I have been vlogging, by the way. Um, all my, my DIY things. So keep an eye out for a couple of vlogs. <laughs> I'm going to take a bit of the P. Louise eyeshadow base. Okay, so for my palette today, I'm going to take the Sensorium Chapter 1 palette. I think I've used this before, but I only use like the grey shades and tones. But I'm very drawn to that neon yellow serotonin. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to give a wee swatch. Feels like very nice. I'm obviously gonna take my 01 brush, which is my crease brush. This is obviously my collection. I'm a collab with a buff and blend. Is it my 01? Yes it is. It just looks different because it's clean. <laughs> so I'm gonna take neutral as my transition. This one here. I'm just gonna blend that just directly within the crease, upper crease, brow bone, all that good stuff. Just keep on going back and forth, back and forth in the circular motions as well. And just blending as I'm applying it. I think I'm going to go into this bottom shade here. Um, yeah, okay. These shadows are actually really good, you know, they seem to be blending like an absolute dream. Or that could just be my brushes. <laughs> Again, I'm also just dragging that out. I'm gonna take my my zero six, my zero six, and I'm gonna go into progress. We're going with this one. Just focusing that, just in the inner corner, first of all. And the reason I'm taking my zero five, is so I can be a, or zero six, sorry, is so I can be a wee bit more precise, just directly within that crease. Just packing on the blending as I go, but kind of tapping off like most of that excess because I just don't want too much applied. Just see the way that's just added a wee bit of depth just directly within that crease. And now you're taking my 05, which is my wee flat packing brush, and I'm taking a wee bit of the P. Louise high base. It's been so long since I've done a cut crease, I'm starting to kind of panic here. <laughs> And just go on like pattern motions, just kind of blend it and kind of just like take off out of the excess. I'm going to take another one of my 05 brushes and I'm going to go into a mellow. Is she doing? And I'm just going to pat that just all over the lid, bringing it up to the cut crease as well. And I'm mainly just packing that on just the centre because at the outer corner I'm going to deepen that up with the dark brown but now in the inner corner I'm going to go into serotonin just on the exact same brush.
I'm going to take my 02 and I'm going to go into a dark dark brown Pro progress. I'm just kind of starting at the outer corner just at that lash line and kind of working up the way. And then just to blend this shadow just at that outer corner. I'm just going to use like just wee pattern motions because I'm not really wanting it to like blend too much and too far. I'm just wanting to make sure it's just nicely blended. So I'm just wanting to diffuse it the tiniest bit and I kind of feel like with pat blending that's like the best technique to do if you're just wanting to diffuse say a line. <laughs> uh, there's actually a couple of shimmers in this palette. I think I might maybe apply a shimmer and see if that'll look any better. <laughs> I'm still taking the same brush, my Zero Two, but I'm also gonna go into Empathy. I'm still just going to go in as a side pattern motions. And then back in with Progress, that dark brown. Just want to introduce this again. So I'm kind of just going to like back and forth in between Empathy and Progress. Just packing these shades on, just kind of darken up the outer corner and then just going and blending them. So I was maybe thinking of this one. Oh, that's really pretty. Or this one up in the corner. So this is just kind of like a peachy shimmer. Oh, that's nice too. Whereas this one, which was that one that I swatched, is... Uh, it's a duochrome. <laughs> it kind of looks like goldy, greeny. Hmm. Well, we take maybe like a mixture or something. I don't know whether to use my finger or a brush. I think I'll just try this brush first. So I'm going to take another one of my 05s. It's looking all right now. Or is it? Just going to apply it a wee bit at a time. You know what? Screw this. The nail is coming off. So I still just use my finger when I get to the outer corner. I'm just going to kind of give that all a wee bit of a pat so it just blends nicely to the outer corner. I'm not too sure what I'm doing on that inner corner yet by the way so that's why I'm literally just leaving it. But just giving everything just a nice sweet pat. See the way it's just like quite nice ingredient looking. I'm going to take that peachy shimmer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know this makeup look has turned out looking like nothing what I imagined? <laughs> but I don't know if I'm mad or not. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, so I just went off camera there and done this other eye. I just added a wee bit of mascara, done winged liner, all that good stuff. Stuff that I just find really boring so I don't really feel the need to film it. <laughs> and I actually put a wee bit of this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in my waterline, the yellow one. Mm, I think it's kind of clashing. I don't know if it looks dodgy or not, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. And I'm just going to apply some lashes now. These have been glowing up for quite some time, so I think they should be ready to just pop on here. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I really don't know how I'm feeling about this makeup look. I don't really know how it looks. I just, I don't know. So I'm just going to finish off the skin here, so I'm going to be taking the HMB Cosmetics Soft Airbrush Concealer. i take a wee bit of this. I'm actually going to take the tiniest wee bit more of the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. And I'm just going to leave that there. This is highly unnecessary, but oh well. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a new cream contour. I I was going to leave this contour for a full face of Be Perfect Cosmetics. It is coming. It is coming. Um, 
but I couldn't wait. <laughs> so this is the Jack Josser, well, Be Perfect and Jack Josser Shape Stick. Love it, absolutely love it. This packaging though, like for real, is freaking stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I'm taking the shade Latte. I've got two shades in this um, for some reason. <laughs> but the other shade, which I think is Mocha, I think it's going to be a wee bit too dark for me. So I'm going to try uh, Latte for now. So it does seem like quite a good shade, a nice warm bronzer. It's not as creamy as I thought it was going to be. I've obviously tried Be Perfect Cosmetics cream bronzers before. You know, like their bronzers, the cream bronzer that's actually in the pan. I prefer a cream bronzer like that anyway. I just kind of find that they're so much more creamy. They're just overall better. <laughs> yeah, that blend out fine actually. It's <laughs> it's not as there. <laughs> as I would want it to be. I'm definitely going to have to go in with a wee bit more. I'm actually going to blend this concealer in first, actually. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, you know. Hold on to I go and grab another bronzer, cream bronzer. Going to take the HMB Cosmetics concealer. Right, something I've been wanting to talk to you about. So, I came up with this idea, I think it was last year or something, where I wanted to do this thing before I was 30, and I've called it 30 before 30. <laughs> so basically, I have wrote down on my phone a list of 30 things that I want to do before I'm 30. Like, crazy, wild things. <laughs> or goals, or just, it could be anything, it could be anything. I'm actually gonna get the list up here, hold on a second, because I'm a wee bit stuck. I'm very, very stuck, and I don't know what else to add to it, so I'm kind of wanting some ideas. So basically, I've actually been able to already tick off a couple of things, thankfully. <laughs> so basically, I had on it, buy a house, go to a festival, go camping, go on holidays somewhere to either Bali, Thailand or Vegas. I definitely want more tattoos and more piercings. So obviously, me and Kylie went to a festival there a couple of months ago, so I was able to tick that off. We bought a house, I was able to tick that off. So obviously, I'm 29 now, so I literally have a year to like do these things. But yeah, that's all I have so far. Uh, piercings, tattoo, holiday, camping. What else? Like, I, I don't know. Part of me was like, oh, I'd really want to like learn how to play the piano, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> um, part of me is like, I really want to learn Spanish. Like Spanish is my favorite language. Um, Spanish or German, absolutely love them two languages. Um, yeah, but I just, I just, do you know what it is? I just don't have time and I'm also very, very lazy. Any ideas? Any ideas? <laughs> um, yeah, I literally, I'm haven't a clue. Or has anybody else done this where they've done like a a list of 30 things they want to do before they hit 30? <laughs> like I literally only have a year to do this. I'm just going to do a wee bit of setting now with my Technique Superfine, Superfine Translucent Pressed Powder. This wee one here. This is so so good. I've been using this for absolutely years and I always use it. It's absolutely fantastic for the price of this wee powder. It's freaking amazing. Like, I just love how it makes my under eyes look. And then I'm just going to dig a wee bit up the nose and just a wee bit just at the centre of the forehead. Do you know what I would like to do actually? I really want to start, I was going to say cooking. What? <laughs> I really want to start growing my own produce like fruit and veg and stuff I think I'm going to start with lemons I've, I've took this wild notion <laughs> I've took this wild notion to start drinking like hot water and lemon like first thing in the morning and then in the evenings I'll drink like some hot water and lemon and then during the day I'll obviously drink just like my normal water intake and like sometimes like every now and again I may put like a wee slice of lemon on for a treat <laughs> um because let's just face it water is the most boring thing to grace my tongue 
it's, it's not an exciting time, but I kind of feel like it's just, just kind of spices it up a wee bit, a wee bit of lime, or a wee bit of lemon, sorry. But yeah, I was cutting up a lemon this morning and there's so many like wee seeds in it and I was just kind of thinking to myself, I could just pop these somewhere. <laughs> so I was actually Googling how to plant or start growing my own lemon trees. I've just taken my wee Dior highlight palette and I'm just going to take these two wee shades up here. And then for blush, I'm going to be taking the Vive Pesca blush. This one here, it's in the shade Pesca, but it's her sunset blush. I do apologise if the lighting has went a wee bit funny. If it's really, really bright all of a sudden, the sun has decided to come out. <laughs> So I'm just gonna keep this blush kinda like higher up. Ta da -da. I kinda swoop it around. Just so it looks a bit more lift on my cheeks. And then I'm gonna take a new bronzer. Again, I was gonna keep this until we done a full face of Be Perfect Cosmetics, but screw it. Um, this is their new bronzer, the Fahrenheit bronzers. I got the shade Becked. Which, it does look quite good actually, so we'll see, it's just like a nice warm colour. Okay, I'm not really completely sold on that bronzer. Like, it looks fine, it looks okay. Um, I don't know, I'm really fussy with, like, powder bronzers. They just, I don't know, whenever I find a good one, like, I instantly know it's a good one. But I'm usually on the fence with powder bronzers. I just kind of feel like they can just be so hit or miss because they can just either look so muddy on me so quickly and I know I'm maybe partially to blame because I'm so heavy handed. Like I'm still applying it, like I'm not actually dipping in with more product but I'm still like going in with the brush but it looks fine, it looks nice, it's actually a really nice colour, I'm happy enough with it. Um, it looks okay, you know, it's not patchy or anything, like even on my forehead, like definitely around here. And on my forehead, whenever it comes to powder bronzers, would be like a real dead giveaway whether it's like alright or not. And it seems to be okay, but it just takes me a while to like really appreciate a powder bronzer or something. I don't know. Or be like, yes, that's that's good. So um we we'll do the lower lash line and then finish off with Z lips. I was really, really wrecking my head there on what to do on the lower lash line because do I really want to just do something boring like I always do? <laughs> um, I just, I don't know what to do. It's zero 05, my wee flat packing brush. I love this wee zero 05 brush for applying the shadow on the lower lash line. Gonna give that a wee blend. I've just taken this empathy shade and I'm just gonna be applying that just on like the inner corner so it's gonna be a wee bit gradient where it's like slightly darker on the outer corner. Um I was thinking about putting like a really bright bright shimmer on the inner corner but not from the palette. This I've been using this like crazy recently as my nose highlight and just like a wee highlight topper. It's the Be Perfect Cosmetics Giblet Highlighters. They're in collaboration with Susan Marie. These came out with her Love the Healy palette. <laughs> and the one I absolutely love is Skin Sheen. So it's a luminous icy glow with reflex of gold and blue. It's different, but I love it. I love it. This this, this ain't gonna be for everybody. <laughs> Definitely not. Like it's it's glittery. It's very, very glittery. It's a, it's a bit of me. It's a bit of me. I love it. Um, and like I use it on my nose, like and everything. I'm, I'm wild. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop this, just like right in the inner corner. So 
So I'm going to take ColourPop CTRL. And then I'm going to take the Morphe lipstick in the shade Sweetest Tea. So I think I actually got this in a wee set. I'll actually link it down below for you is where it came with one of these. The lipstick and the lip liner. So, so good. Oh, that's lovely. Really, really nice. I also have a lip gloss here and I, I will we? Will we apply it anyway? Oh, it smells nice. guys i hope you did enjoy this tutorial thanks all so so much for watching as always all the products will be listed and linked down below in the description box i hope you do enjoy or like my new background let me know what you think and this plant's real by the way i thought i would uh, point this out i've had this for like such a long time this was actually my first plant it was actually bought to me for the house <laughs> whenever me and kyle first moved and i've kept you alive haven't i my wee darling, love it. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I thought I would have it with me whenever I was filming. I just, you know what the problem was in my last background? I had like so much going on over here and then there was like nothing over here. So I just kind of needed to expand it out and yeah. <laughs> and also this mirror, I DIY'd myself, which I did vlog and I have no idea what day I'm on right now with my vlogs and what I'm uploading and what I'm not. So obviously keep an eye out on my channel for my vlogs. It, um, it probably won't be up by the way, so don't worry about that. But yeah. <laughs> um, but you know my guys, thank you all so, so much for watching again. And I hope to see you in my next video.